What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out another old movie because there's nothing new that's coming out. It's 1997's Gattaca on 4K Blu-ray. I'm just going to share some of my thoughts on the video and the audio quality so this is not a movie review. And of course, if you're new to the channel, consider tapping the subscribe button for new weekly videos like this one. Now, let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot on 35mm. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated PG-13. Runtime is 106 minutes and it's got a 239 by 1 aspect ratio, so it's letterboxed. Sony's been knocking out a bunch of their catalog titles lately, and this one, it's another good looking transfer. Now this was shot back in 97 on 35mm, so there's going to be a good amount of film grain. If you don't like movies like Man of Steel, then you're probably not going to want to pick this one up. We're talking about the way it looks, by the way. The grain can be pretty heavy at times, and there's I believe a couple shots where it's relatively grain free and looks really crisp. I think there is a brightly lit scene between Vincent and the bride where you might think it was shot today. But during the duration of the movie, I found detail was very good to very soft. Like I said, it was shot on film, so it will have that soft filmic appearance a lot of times. Other times, there's a noticeable increase in detail during close-ups and from some of the textures inside the Gattaca building. The concrete walls appear to be more porous and the floors have more sheen. The image is just tighter overall. I don't think you're going to be blown away by the amount of detail or use it to impress your friends, but it is a nice upgrade over the older Blu-ray. As for HDR, it makes the movie's stylized visuals pop quite nicely. There's a lot of warm golden hues and other times certain colors will dominate the screen. Sometimes it's big splashes of green or red and the HDR does deepen and brighten these moments. I didn't find this transfer to be particularly bright overall, but there are some decent specular highlights. Nothing eye blinding, but there's some good pop here and there. The ship takeoff comes to mind. Black levels elevated image depth and gave the picture some added contrast. And shadow detail was still present even in the darker scenes. Got a beautiful piece of equipment there, Jerome. Have I ever told you that? Only every time I'm in here. Audio gets a new Dolby Atmos mix. Now there isn't much to this movie in the way of action or anything exciting, so I wasn't really expecting too much in the way of immersive Atmosness. And I gotta tell you. I wasn't wrong. The best, most immersive part is going to be right at the opening credits. If we take a look at the Dolby Atmos viewer, you'll be able to see what's going on in the height channels. You can hear the fingernails drop from the height speakers to the lower level, and you'll even hear them blow from top left over to top right. There's even some good bass response when they hit the floor or table or whatever. And this is the most exciting discrete part of the mix. The rest of the movie, you can see that the height channels are lit up green, but this is mostly musical extension. The yellow balls, which can be sound effects, don't move that much at all, if at all. So as I expected, surround effects are mostly light ambiance and music. As for bass response, other than the fingernails and the hair clippings at the beginning, the spaceship takeoffs are going to be the other times your subwoofers actually get to do something. Even then, they're not doing all that much. I thought sound staging was wide, with good ambiance, and dialogue was solid throughout. So for audio, I'm going to go with a 7. It's just an average mix with nothing attention getting. It serves the movie just fine and gives the movie good space to match the visuals. Atmos effects are relegated to ambiance and it's also light on base duties. For video, I'm going to go with an 8.2. I never thought the Blu-ray was anything special so I wasn't expecting anything drastically different. It's a nice upgrade for detail and for color. I just don't think you're going to be picking this up because you think it's a knockout transfer. I suppose if you're a fan of the movie, then this is probably the best it's going to get. So those are my thoughts on Gattaca on 4K Blu-ray. Have you guys seen it and what do you think of the transfer, picture and sound? Leave a comment and let us know. Now if you want to grab this disc, I'll leave some links for it down below in the video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media and if you want to get exclusive content and great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you guys again in the next video.